Hey guys, a very certain special someone managed to acquire me a really great Christmas present. It happens to be a National Geographic telescope. Now, before you go on saying that, oh, this telescope is shit. Well, I did have a review. I did see a review about this, but it wasn't as powerful as this seems to be. But um, I took it outside to view the moon tonight, and I viewed it up so close that it was like I was in a spaceship a day away from being at the moon. It was that close. Like I had never seen a moon so close with my own eyes through a telescope like this. Now I may have purchased a another telescope which I did a review about. Uh, it's uh, called the Vivitar Refractor Telescope. That someone advised me was a hunk of junk that it couldn't see any further than the moon, which I had to believe him at that time because well, at the time I did get the telescope, there was no moon for about four nights. I don't know what happened or if it was the way the orbit of the moon going around the Earth or whatever. I don't really know. But at the time, I couldn't really test it, but it wasn't all that bad, but I could have dealt better, and this actually does prove better. Regardless of what you guys think, um, I do have another idea in mind. Um, I think I, uh, it's been searched up on eBay or Amazon. It's a smaller telescope, but its magnification is so powerful that it could pretty m you could pretty much see Jupiter up close with it. So I'm going to check into that. Um, I heard it was only maybe $30. Who knows? You guys can tell me on that. Because uh, you probably know more about telescopes than I do. But I actually really got to stay focused on that distant planet that's uh, up in the sky. That seems like so close to orbit. And I can almost make out what it is. But I need just a little bit more power. On the scope, it appeared to be just that big on my scope. Now... This is a 375X Land and Sky Telescope. That will show you here. Okay. 375, why not? I know that I can't, well, I know this, uh, this picture here could be more clarified. So can that. But that, I'm not too sure of. But yeah, um... That's all it pretty much shows. Now I can I know for one that this telescope is no low budget telescope. It was powerful enough to see the moon clear up to the naked eye, so I know this was worth whatever it costed, so but it's a Christmas present. Why why does price matter, right? Exactly. So I'm not worried about it. But um yeah. Here's that this scope here, I guess is used for uh, like um, landscape, like see things that you can't really see from afar, like maybe two, three miles away. But um, yeah, I was really impressed with this thing had to offer for me tonight, and I am not selling it or taking it back. It works enough for me, and it suits. So, unlike that Vivitar telescope, this thing I'll beat it by. Well, that number, I guess. But it beats it by a lot. And for something that cost thirty uh, thirty three dollars, this was uh, if you want quality, I guess you know where to go and how much you want to spend to get quality. This is not too bad. This is not a shitty telescope. It may be by National Geographic, but the review that this kid did about um, like uh, another version of this. I'm pretty sure this is not the same one he did a review about because unless he did, I don't know, it's too long uh, for me to remember, but I will search upon it again. But I know that um, I know that this one is a lot more powerful than his. So you guys, let me know what you think. If it's powerful enough, regardless if you agree or disagree, I'm not getting rid of it. It uh, it suits the nice guy well, so. And it impresses me, so it's not going anywhere but being a display in my room or looking at the moon. So, thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed. Give me more hints, tips, and solutions to what other telescopes you think might be more powerful that can view really great distant planets. 
and please comment, rate, and subscribe. You know the whole jazz. And we will see you next time. Oh, and hope you get good pictures of the lunar eclipse, as it only does happen once a year. But I, he I heard the next one won't happen until 2014. So get some pictures, people, because I know I am. Thanks for watching. Good night or good morning, wherever you are.